Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and today we are going to be talking about knives. But the question with the knives is going to be what is a necessity and what would be a luxury? So, let's get started on that. Okay, so as you can see, we have a few different knives here. They're all different makes. Um, <clears throat> we're going to start off right with the smallest one. The small little pocket watch. Now, the only thing you're not going to see on this table is a Swiss Army knife. Okay, because with a Swiss Army knife, you have to decide what you really want in it. Okay, so I didn't bring out my Swiss Army knife uh, because it's basically... You're going to spend between 30 and 50 bucks just to get uh, one with all the attachments and everything that you want in it. We're talking about just some basic knives. This is just your standard pocket knife. Okay. Now this little pocket knife right here, it only has two blades. All right. Has your, your main blade here, which is very sharp. Okay. And then it has another small blade right here that you know it's kind of like a can opener you could use it for like a little screwdriver the file side is pretty this is a real old knife so it's pretty wore down um, but in a survival situation or in an emergency you know just to have a little pocket knife in your pocket would probably be a really good thing wouldn't you think could be next on the list <clears throat> we have a I believe it's pronounced Opinel. It's a French knife, as you all can see. Okay. And it's really nice. And the good thing about this knife is when it comes to you, unlike a lot of knives nowadays, they're not sharp. You know, and I spent uh, 21 bucks on this. And when it comes to you, it is razor sharp. So I really like that. I think this knife would be a really good knife if you had to skin something or maybe fillet something. Um, I think it might be really good for that. It's very, very lightweight. Um, it does have a locking mechanism. You just twitch this little metal piece and it locks it and you flip it over. And that was $21. Now we're going to skip over the next one because that's my favorite knife. Now this one here, this is a uh, an MTech. It's made in the USA. Um, it's basically a um, stainless steel. It's it's a USA design. Um, does have a blade on both sides, but when it does come, this one I haven't sharpened yet. Um, it is dull, so you will have to sharpen this if you wanted to use this. I would say this would be more for self defense than anything uh, as far as having the blade and the point I don't know if you can see that let's see if I can angle that up you see how it's very pointy this would be more of a self-defense knife type deal all right now that knife there um, wasn't very expensive of all I think it was less than 25 bucks now this next knife uh, somebody gave it to me um, it is from China um, I don't know exactly. I went online to look to see how much these things cost, and I think they're like uh, 15 bucks or so. Um, it's called a Defender Extreme. Um, there is really, um, it does have a handle. It is all metal, okay? It does come with the paracord already attached to it and everything else. The grip isn't really too bad, you know? Um, it is very dull. I mean, you couldn't cut anything with it, so you'll have to sharpen it. It does have the tooths and stuff that are right here. Um, they put it off as they call it their deer knife. So I guess for if you were hunting or something and you know you had to uh, clean the deer or any type of an animal, maybe because of the rounded edge, it might work a lot better. Um, I'm thinking this thing here, just because it's razor sharp, I don't know. I'd have to try it out to see. Like I said, this knife was given to me. Um, it's not one of my favorites. So if the person's watching that um, gave this to me, don't take it personal. Um, but it is what it is. 
All right, this one here is a 14 inch. It's a mossy oak. And this knife here, I mean, it's it's the big boy, you know. If you wanted something and this was your one survival knife, uh, this would probably be the one because you could use this uh, for splitting wood, uh, all kinds of stuff. As you can see, it is very thick. If you can see that, it is very thick. Um, the handle is really nice. Um, so if you were in a survival mode, this would probably be the one knife you'd want to go with just for the fact that um, you could do so many different things with it and it is so thick so it, it's going to take a beat. So you could use this to put it on there and then hit it with another log to split up your wood and stuff like that um, and all that kind of stuff. You know, almost kind of like your uh, Rambo knives. You know. Um, and this knife here was, I believe, under $30. So not too bad. All right, last on the list right here. It's not really a knife, but it is a machete. Now, when I got this machete, it was dull as all. And it's a SOG, okay? I do like some of their products. Um, I like their products com compared with their prices and stuff. And for beginners out there, it's a great way to start. Remember, you can always up your gear later on down the road and get something better. But when you're starting out, um, SOG makes some really good products. Okay, and I'm not being paid by them or endorsed by them or anything else. Um, but the blade was dull when I got it. I did sharpen it up because I did take it on a trip last year. And so it is razor sharp at this point. Uh, it does have the teeth back here, so if you need to saw something, and you know it's one of those things where if you're if you're going to be hiking in the woods and if you're not going to be on a trail um, i would highly suggest having a your way through the brush um you know the whole nine yards it just makes your life so much easier to have a machete you know it's it's one of those things where um, like I said, unless you're going to be walking on some really nice trails where you don't have to worry about anything, like you're in a public campground or something like that. But if you're out in the woods and you're going to be walking, um, you're going to want to have a machete. Now, it also does come with um, this little band here where you can put it on the back side. It has a belt loop and the whole nine yards, so you can put it right on your belt. So now let's talk about necessity versus a luxury now there's one knife that i didn't talk about yet because it's my favorite knife i go to that knife all the time i love it okay out of all these all right even the little pocket knife which you know most people all carry right in your pocket i like my moa this thing i have put this thing through basically hell and back and um i keep her nice and sharp and she hasn't filled me yet now the cool thing with this one was is when it comes it comes with this solid you know plastic case doesn't have a hole in the end in case water does to get in there has the belt loop it also comes with your fire starting and that's let me tell you what when you get that on there that thing ain't gonna come out of there and if it does so be it, it does have a uh, stone on it so you can sharpen it as you go along um, I really haven't used this stone very much for sharpening. Um, I have uh, a sharpener that I do carry with me, which is uh, 10 times better and, and more comfortable to use and hold. Uh, remember, if you're sharpening your knives, you want something that's where you're not going to cut yourself and where it's more comfortable. Now, I did pay. <clears throat> this knife set me back. This is the, the MOA. Um, I think it's called the Black Edition. And this edition had come with the... the the fire starter and with the sharpening blade they do have one um, I think I paid 38 for this one and they do have one just the case and the knife and I think it's like ton, 30 bucks or something so you could pay like an extra 10 bucks and you get all the little bells and whistles with it so it's kind of nice so <clears throat> necessity versus luxury this would definitely be your luxury okay because this way here, you know, this would be, you got to drag this along with you. This is going to cut your brush. This is cut down small trees. 
and all that kind of stuff. This would be a luxury item. All right, the same with this one. Okay, this would be more of a luxury item. You know, if there's something that, you know, you could do without, if you didn't have or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> this, um, I've never really even used it, so um, that would be, this would be just for self-defense, but as we all know, any knife, if it's sharp or even dull, can be used to self-defense if you know how to use your knives. Um, when you get down right down to it, you know, even your, your MOA, it, it's, you know, I mean, it's, it, for me, this would be the, the go-to knife that I would always try, try to make sure that I had on hand. Uh, but when push come right down to shove, um, a necessity would be one of these small little pocket knives. You could take your pick, even if, especially if you had your, your Swiss Army knife, that would probably be your necessity. Everything else here on this side of the table would be a luxury. You know, you would have something for self-defense. Um, you would have something to basically do just about anything. Uh, self-defense, splitting wood, um, the whole nine yards, uh, anything from this, from chopping down trees and brush and everything else, you know, and everything but in a, a survival type scenario your pocket knife could be your lifesaver so I just wanted to bring a little um, video today um, I did talk about in a couple videos back that I'm gonna start doing some videos and comparing necessity to luxury these would be a luxury item these little guys would be necessity. If it's big enough to hold right in your pants pocket or wherever you you know, your coat pocket or whatever, you know, that is a necessity and that could save your life, believe it or not, in the long run. These can too, but you're more apt to probably have a pocket knife on you in a blink of an eye if an emergency, a disaster hit or something, then you would be carrying uh, something like this or something like this because you're not going to go walking down the middle of the street with this stuff um, Well, I don't know. Maybe you, you would be but um, you might probably get shot So I would suggest that so pocket knife would be your best friend so This is survival preparedness for beginners. I hope you enjoyed the little knife presentation and show you what the difference is between a necessity and a luxury and I have more videos on that particular subject coming up soon. So stay tuned. So until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.